So in today's video, I wanted to talk about mouse centering. Um, a lot of the times when I am flicking back and forth, right? You guys see when I flick, I recenter the mouse. And the main reason why I do this is because it just keeps me more consistent and something that I just naturally do. Um, and it's something that in FPS games, so I don't run out of mouse space because I only have this much space work with i got a pretty big mouse pad but recentering the mouse like when you make a swipe and then coming back real quickly instead of making a swipe and over here and then if you have to turn more over to your like right side or left side you have that uh space you guys can see mostly right here when my mouse is more mouse pad is wore down a lot um uh pretty much that's where my mouse pretty much is in my hand now, how do you do this and how do you practice this? Well, the main thing is you want to have like, you don't want your forearm, right? Resting like super like heavy on your mouse. Uh, so what I mean by that is you don't want to have your forearm like lifted up or you're exerting a super uh, amount of pressure on your mouth. Like right now, if you guys can tell, but my forearm is up and there's space under underneath my forearms when i'm doing this it's harder for me to pick up and set you want to have it you know nice and comfortably just pivot imagine pivot point wherever you rest your arm at maybe you're right here you have a pivot point and that way you will be able to uh quickly just set your mouse and you want to think of it as like not putting a bunch of downward pressure on your mouse you want to have it to where it's like floaty imagine it just extension of your hand right and it doesn't matter what mouse you uh use you can uh you know palm gripping the mouse right and you could have it not you know crazy amount of pressure downward force on your mouse pad uh when you're trying to flick the only time that um you really put a lot of downward pressure on your mouse is like say i flick come back and then i need to be like super accurate right now i'm applying the downward pressure on my mouse pad after i already made the click or the turn i'm coming down and i'm putting my mouse down and then i'm forcing it into the pad right and the way that i play is you guys can see uh the grip right here my hands are, are or my fingertips are in contact with the mouse pad so what that allows me to do is apply that downward pressure for that extra stopping power. Now I know a lot of people uh, don't do this because it really depends on your grip style. Um, I have like a claw grip or a finger grip, right? Um, hybrid, I guess. Uh, uh, sometimes my mouse, I shove my mouse to the back of my palm here and uh, I keep it holding that pressure. Um, and basically what this allows me just my fingertips right so when i flick come back recenter my mouse and then apply that downward force that downward pressure and again it all comes down to the pivot point you have on your um on your arm right like i know some players are this players their pivot point it's like the palm of their hand and it's like pivoting and they can still pivot on the um wrist part of your hand me personally i have like my forearm um pivot point so that i go back and forth and sometimes you know in certain situations you have to flick over stand over here and aim it over here. you have to flick all the way over here right it all depends on the situation it's not really that hard of a concept to grasp but i highly encourage everybody to focus on the pivot point and where you're applying and resetting your mouse here nice in the middle of your mouse pad so that you can have optimal aiming ability to say like click you have to recorrect for here and then you have all the crack right so it's flick boom come down and then you're tracking the target all this track not Click all the way over here if you don't have enough room to track. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Always remember to stay blessed and stay humble, and I'll catch you in another one.